Hey, what's happening, guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Tito back with another video, and today in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Pixel Experience ROM, which is based on Android 8.1. And I did a previous video on this ROM. I'll link a card if you want to see that. And this is the 19th January 2018 build. So without further any more delay, let's make it happen. So first, we have to download the ROM from this website. Link for the XDA thread and the website will be provided in the description box below. So do not worry. As you can see, we do not need any GApp for this ROM because Google permissions are already included inside this ROM. So I finally changed my tempered class guys because it was coming off and some of you guys requested for it. So here we go. Okay, so enough talking, let's come to the point. So before proceeding, make sure you have officially unlocked bootloader, TWRP cover installed and you are doing it on your own risk. So as I have downloaded the ROM file on my device already and I am on discovery ROM right now. So let's boot the phone into TWRP recovery now. So I am using latest TWRP 3.2.1 slash 0 here. So now let's go to wipe. Now advanced wipe, select cache, Dalvik cache, system and data, now swipe to wipe. Once done, go back, go back, hit install, now locate the ROM file, select it and swipe to confirm flash. Once done, hit reboot system. Here is a boot animation which you will find in any Google Pixel phone right now. Looks amazing. The startup screen is different here. Everything is really like Google Pixel phone all over the UI. Which is amazing. So let me complete the setup process here. Here automatically the brightness turned down. Definitely it's the adaptive brightness going a bit wonky. So here we have only the pixel launcher as top launcher of course. So here on top of settings it shows finish setting up pixel. Okay, I know it's funny but let's see what it does. The font all over the UI as you can see is very similar to the pixel 2 I gotta say. So you can change the font size and wallpaper from here quickly. Okay so enough of that. Now let's jump into the about phone. This ROM is based on Lineage OS kernel with latest January 5th 2018 security patch and of course running latest Android 8.1 Oreo. In gestures we have jumped to camera option by double tapping the power button and here we have button customization option if you are into that. From here you can customize the hardware buttons like home, menu, back and volume keys. From navigation bar of course you can turn on software buttons and the pixel home button animation too is present here as you can see. So from notification settings you can hide lock screen notifications like this. But what I don't like here is we still do not have the option to disable heads up notifications. I even tried searching for it but sadly no it's still not here. Now let's jump into the display settings. From here you can customize the UI style which changes the quick settings panel and settings panel color like this. As you can see everything turned dark. Here is the quick settings panel by the way. You can add some stuff like screenshot if you want to from here. In battery settings we have the option to turn on battery percentage. I will talk about the battery life later on Twitter, so do follow me there. So let me just show you guys the face unlock option of this ROM. So as you can see it works fine, much like the OnePlus 5T which is instant unlocking after face match is present here. And some of you guys reported that it's there even on latest Nitrogen OS, 
so that's cool i think now all the latest audio builds having this feature from now on so that's amazing and i think this rom supports ot updates from here you can download them when they are available now let's check if volti is working or not So as you can see it works fine here. Now let's open up the camera app and take some quick pictures. Here are the benchmarks of this ROM if you are into that. I did not find any solid bug in this ROM yet except native video calling. But there are things that I do not like personally. First would be the clear all button on the bottom of recent apps panel, which is simply not present here. So to clear all the apps together, you have to scroll all the way down to the screen. Only then you can do that. And you simply cannot lock apps to stay in memory. Second, double tap to sleep on the status bar is not simply present here. I get it that this ROM is totally meant to give you experience like a pixel device and it really does that. So do not expect customizations even anywhere close to Nitrogen OS. But in the end of the day it's a custom ROM so I would love to see the things I mentioned that I am disappointed today in the future. What do you guys think let me know in the comment section down below. And here is the RAM management test for you guys. Most of the apps were in memory, so no complaints from my side. And oh yeah, things like Wi-Fi, data, Vault DE, torch, camera, FPC fingerprint scanner, everything is working fine in this ROM, no issues there. So that wraps up this video guys, hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, please feel free to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel right here if you love my work. This is Tito from KTN Tech signing off, I'll see you guys in the next one. Well, bye now.